Welcome to Music with Mrs. Avery. Hello everyone. It is time to warm up our voices. So please stand up. Make sure you have plenty of room around you. Your feet should be shoulder width apart, hands to your side, and you should be standing up with good posture. Let's get started. Anace and the Sticky Glue, a West African folktale retold by Christy Carey Miller. In an African village called Pong, there once lived a crafty but lazy spider named Anace. One day, Chief Tiger called together his animal kingdom to discuss the idea of having a farm to provide food in times of famine. Everyone in the village was excited about the proposal except for Anace, who said he couldn't help because he was sick. Each Friday, the people of Pong worked on the farm. Everyone worked, that is, except for Anise, who gave the excuse that he was too sick to help. After several months, the farm began to yield large amounts of potatoes, carrots, tomatoes, and corn, as well as other fruits and vegetables. One day, the villagers noticed that some of their ripened crops were missing. Someone was stealing their produce. News of the theft spread quickly, and a meeting was called to decide how to catch the thief. 
Anais, of course, did not make it to the gathering because he claimed he was sick. The animals of Pong came up with a plan. They decided to place a giant statue in the middle of the farm and cover it with sticky glue. Anyone who touched the structure would become stuck and they would catch their thief. The next evening, Anais made his way to the farm to enjoy his nighttime activities. When he arrived, he saw the statue sitting in the middle of the field. Not knowing the plans of the villagers, he thought someone was trying to steal the crops. He shouted out, who are you and what do you want? When the statue did not reply, Anais went closer and yelled, if you do not answer, I will hit you. And with that, he slapped the statue with his left hand, which became stuck in the glue. Thinking he was being held by the intruder, he slapped the statue with his right hand, which also became stuck. Anais kicked the statue and soon found that he was completely tied up in the sticky glue. The next morning, the animals of Pong decided to go to the farm to see if their thief had been caught. When they arrived, they saw Anais hanging from the statue. Once the villagers released the lazy spider from his hold, they shooed him away. Poor Anais was filled with shame and crawled to the top corner of his room where he hid, not to show his face. That's the reason why spiders today run away when they see people approaching and why they always hide in the corners of our homes. Wasn't that a fun folk tale to listen to? Now, I would like for you to pause this video and I would like for you to look around your home or wherever you are learning from and I need you to find three to four objects that you could use to make different sounds. Now, these could be instruments or they could just be everyday objects that you find around your home or around your learning environment. You might find wooden spoons, pots and pans, cups, pencils. So be creative. And go ahead and pause this video and bring back three to four objects that make sense. Let's get started. First, I'm going to share our story, Anais and the Sticky Glue. We are going to look at some of the high frequency words that appear in our story. And these are the words that we are going to add sounds to. So first, Anais, that is our main character. So I want you to find one of your objects and I want you to create a sound with that object for our main character, Anais. Can you make that sound right now? Great, so go ahead and lay that object in front of you and next time, when I read the story, every time I say Anais, you are going to pick up that object and make the sound. Let's look at the next word. Pong. This is our setting. So, I want you to pick up a different object and go ahead and make a sound with that object. So, Go ahead and place that object in front of you. And when I read the word palm in our story, you're gonna pick that object up and play it. The next word is statue. So if you have another object in front of you, you're gonna repeat the same process. Go ahead and pick it up, make the sound, and then place it in front of you and you will use this object and make a sound with it when you hear the word statue. And last, our last word is sick. This word appears a few times in our story. Now, if you have a fourth object, you can use it. But if you don't have a fourth object, that's okay too, because you can make some of these sounds using your body or your voice. So, when I think of the word sick, I think of maybe a headache or a tummy ache or a sore throat. 
So maybe for sick, I could do ooh, and that could be your sound. So be creative. If you have an object, feel free to use that. But if you don't, you can use your own body or your own voice to make the sound. So now you should have an object or sound designated for all four of these words. Anais, Pong, Statue, and Sick. So now it's time to perform our sound story. So get ready. And when you hear one of these words, make sure to play your object sound nice and loud. Anais and the Sticky Glue, a West African folktale retold by Christy Carey Miller. In an African village called Pong, there once lived a crafty but lazy spider named Anais. One day, Chief Tiger called together his animal kingdom to discuss the idea of having a farm to provide food in times of famine. Everyone in the village was excited about the proposal except for Anais, who said he couldn't help because he was sick. Each Friday, the people of Pong worked on the farm. Everyone worked, that is, except for Anais, who gave the excuse that he was too sick to help. After several months, the farm began to yield large amounts of potatoes, carrots, tomatoes, and corn, as well as other fruits and vegetables. One day, the villagers noticed that some of their ripened crops were missing. Someone was stealing their produce. News of the theft spread quickly, and a meeting was called to decide how to catch the thief. Anais, of course, did not make it to the gathering because he claimed he was sick. The animals of Pong came up with a plan. They decided to place a giant statue in the middle of the farm and cover it with sticky glue. Anyone who touched the structure would become stuck and they would catch their thief. The next evening, Anais made his way to the farm to enjoy his nighttime activities. When he arrived, he saw the statue sitting in the middle of the field. Not knowing the plans of the villagers, he thought someone was trying to steal the crops. He shouted out, who are you and what do you want? When the statue did not reply, Anais went closer and yelled, If you do not answer, I will hit you. And with that, he slapped the statue with his left hand, which became stuck in the glue. Thinking he was being held by the intruder, he slapped the statue with his right hand, which also became stuck. Anais kicked the statue and soon found that he was completely tied up in the sticky glue. The next morning, the animals of Pong decided to go to the farm to see if their thief had been caught. When they arrived, they saw a niece hanging from the statue. Once the villagers released the lazy spider from his hold, they shooed him away. Poor niece was filled with shame and crawled to the top corner of his room where he hid, not to show his face. That's the reason why spiders today run away when they see people approaching and why they always hide in the corners of our homes. For your activity in Seesaw, I want to know what objects you chose to use to create the sounds in our sound story. So, you have lots of different options that you can choose from to complete this activity. You can create a video and show me all of the objects that you used. You could use the record tool and record yourself explaining the different objects you used. You can use the camera tool and take a picture of the objects you used. Or you can use the typing tool and just write out what objects you chose to use. Any way you choose to do this is okay. I cannot wait to see what you chose to make the sounds in our sound story. Thank you for joining me 